after our first date we went like on some little walk by the pond real cute and the next day he sent me like a full spa care package for what uh -oh. like what i ain't gonna spa hold y'all a spa care package i'm talking about like facials deep stone massage everything after one date that right there is a red flag to me now like when people start giving you big packages and big presents like so early on mm -hmm. that's a red flag that's the beginning of love bombing mm. hey everybody and welcome back it's my a s m r it's like let me stop playing <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to my channel it's Wilanda. I agree with her. I do. I agree 100%. And I don't know what her love language is, but I know for me, my love language is not gifts. First of all, I could give two cents if you give me a gift or not. I don't base any man's true feelings for me or their emotions for me via gifts that i don't i just don't that is just not how i truly believe a man is really into me and that is because i've seen time and time again like for especially when you're around men who has money that's nothing let me go ahead and back up a little bit i guess growing up because i was never given gifts i never thought that would was the way somebody showed their appreciation towards you or show that they care about you, show that they love you. Love or affection was always in, of course, you know, hugs and just verbally telling you and via your actions. That's just how I grew up. And y'all know, growing up in a foreign, especially Haitian household, it's really hard for parents to show that love via a uh, physical touch or just saying you know it's hard for them to just say they love you is they basically them showing they love you is by yo i got a roof you got a roof over your head you know that's your love i love you if you still in my house giving gifts was always just an occasional type of thing you know maybe during your birthday maybe for christmas other than that it's either i tell you or i show you now, when I got older, especially moving to Atlanta, I definitely do not associate giving gifts as a sign of caring or affection because I've seen so many times girls, especially girls with them, with the boyfriends who got the money, boyfriends who is flashy, all of that, they get gifts all the time, but yet sitting in their high rise crying because their man is with another woman or they the man won't pick up their phone or their MIA or um they're just being verbally abusive. So just because you're getting gifts in my eyes, oh my goodness, that has absolutely nothing to do with how much somebody cares for you. I did have an occasion where a guy <laughs> Sir, I don't know if you watch my channel. If you do, you know who you are, cause <laughs> you know. But there's this one time I met this guy. I wasn't even on a prowl type of mood. It wasn't as though I was looking to. I, first of all, I'm never looking for a guy. I let them come to me. I don't go searching. I don't go trying to play the hookup game. Your friend hook me up with your friend hook me. I don't do that stuff. You feel me? But I don't know randomly. I guess in a group of friends, I don't know. I don't even remember how I met this guy, to be honest. But anyways, we chat up, we went out to dinner or lunch one day, getting to know each other, him talking and all that. I'm very attentive when other people are talking, especially men, but just people in general, I'm very attentive because a lot of people will definitely show their true colors up front if you really sit down and pay attention and not be blindsided about either what they have on or um, what they're flashing or any of that stuff. And there were some red flags in the first conversation. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, it wasn't as though I was looking to be with him or anything like that. So I was just, all right, another person that I meet. You feel me? He was really trying to be... <laughs> 
<laughs> very impressive to me i guess he was really trying to impress me so one day we were chatting it up and i don't even remember how this came about i'm pretty sure i have all of these messages still in my phone somewhere i just don't care to go look for it but he he was like i want to send you something special i was like all right he told me he, he's gonna send me edible arrangements i said okay bet being that I don't know him, of course, I'm not going to give him my address. And I was living at, in Atlanta at that time. And I gave him my office address because I had a office. The thing that turned me off about that is one, I think we only went out once. That first time, I think, is when we went out. And then while we were talking throughout, I guess, I don't even think it was weeks couple of days I think then he decided he wants to give me edible arrangements the thing was he had my number right because obviously we were texting but yet he gave my number to his assistant so his assistant can text me to arrange a time and my office address for the edible arrangements to be sent to me. I know that was a flex for him because I'm looking like, dude, you you got my number. Why don't you just ask me and we set it up one-on-one -on -one together? I don't understand why you had to go through your assistant to do it. I know it wasn't, oh, he was so busy. He had to have his assistant to do it. I know it wasn't that at all. He literally just wanted a flex and show that one he probably has assistant or probably he has somebody to you know do that for him and it was a form of you know just trying to impress me but to be honest it literally turned me off because i don't know i feel like he does this a lot to with other women that's how i felt like you know because if you put in a third party in between our conversation in order for me you to send me something that's supposed to be a you know a form of appreciation or a form of affection. I don't know. That just did not sit right with me. But honestly, I thought it was corny. And a lot of people probably going to disagree or see that as, oh, it's so sweet. And I can understand how you see it as sweet. It can be a sweet act to do, but you don't know me. That was the main thing. I'm the type of person, I love conversations. Because conversations, having somebody talk can definitely reveal a lot about them because it's so unless like you're a professional liar like this is what you do on a regular this is this is your whole life it's so easy to read in between the lines and because i'm very attentive with what people say and how people say it and like their body language when they say it, their facial expression even if i don't know you all you have to really know is sociology just know how humans act in general it can definitely help you weave through the bs because everything from body language to verbally saying it to eye contact to the pitch and the tone of people's voices and just knowing what people are looking for and what people want in relationships and human interactions you could peep a lot of things a lot of red flags right away and just even also how they respond to you if you guys are having a conversation if they're cutting you off or if they're saying huh huh or if they're not paying attention if their eyes gazing over all of those things i peep when i'm talking to somebody this is why even um on the phone i rather call than text because a lot of things get misinterpreted via text messages i just feel like for the, the guys who just come off rip trying to impress by buying and and sending stuff it comes off as though you really don't have much to offer but your money it comes off like you think every female is going to shut up and just take gifts and that's one thing i don't like i honestly do not like guys giving me gifts and i say this because with gifts there's always an underlying reason for you to be giving either you're lacking something as a person or you want something i've always feel like giving gifts it's a bait 
And a lot of things guys do, guys do are baits. It's like, okay, let me, you know, let me drop this crumb. Let me see how she react when, she, when I drop this crumb. You know, is she all over the gifts? Is she like, oh, thank you, thank you? Like, is she begging me for it? Or if she, like, let me see how she act with these crumbs. And baby, one thing I know for sure is I pick the crumbs and I leave the crumbs right there on the floor or on the table wherever you drop it because I'm not her. When a guy comes and trying to spend their money on me, it's always for something in return and majority of the time it's something I don't want to do or I don't want to participate in so why would I sit here and try to take their crumbs for exchange for something I don't I know I wouldn't want to participate in or I will have to force myself to do or how to pretend I enjoy whatever they gonna want me to do I'm not about that life I'm not especially if we're not in a relationship you just met me you know absolutely nothing about me and yet you already spending money on me yeah that's a red flag i agree with her for sure for sure it's a red flag and it's not attractive to me to be honest it's definitely like i said it shows me that you don't have anything to bring to the table but your finances and maybe barely that depending on you know how often you just send a girl's gifts you probably don't even have that so you try to come off very heavy. You're coming off very strong, and I don't like that. You try to put your best foot forward financially, when then when you actually get into the relationship, like that's all they really had to offer that that little gift in the beginning, is really all they had to offer just to reel you in. That was the uh, the worm on the hook, just to reel you in. But once you get to the boat, you realize there's no more worm. You they just caught you. There's nothing else they can offer you. So, I agree with her. I do. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. If I meet you and we start conversing, we start getting to know each other, do not buy me anything. I don't ask for anything. All I ask for is your time, your attention when I talk to you, and respect, and we'll be good.